So, I realized something the other day. I realized that I am completely comfortable in my own skin. Meaning, I'm completely comfortable with the person I am. I'm completely comfortable with just expressing all my fuck-ups. Because I'm not ashamed of my fuck-ups. I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm damn proud of who I am. Because I feel like so many people worry about other people's opinions of them. And it severely affects how they think of themselves. Um, I I practice self-love, but I also try to, like, um, you know, practice having more empathy and... You know, I'm very empathetic, you know, sometimes I'm, I feel a little too much, but, like, it's like, I'm just trying to practice more empathy. You know, you could be the most empathetic person in the world, and you can still have more empathy. You could be the best and still be better. Um, you can, you know what I mean, but I'm just, I've been trying to uh, figure out a way to basically not give a fuck what people think about me, but not have it sound so harsh. You know what I mean? Because when you say when you when you tell people, yo, I don't give a fuck what people think about me because I'm just confident who I am. I don't give a fuck what they think. That sounds kind of what other people would call arrogant, right? But I just think that it's like it's just confidence. You know, it's just knowing who you are. It's being comfortable in your own skin because there's a difference between ego and confidence and in in my perspective the difference is so ego is saying i'm the shit and i'm better than you and you know you're i'm the shit and you're a piece of shit and it's like but confidence is literally saying i'm the shit and you are also the shit you can also do your thing, you're also the best, you're also, you know what I mean, it's like, it's not, confidence is when you're not really caring about, you know, other, it's not that you don't care about other people, it's just you're not really having their progress or their, uh, if they're better than you, so what, you don't even really notice it because you're focused on yourself, because you're focused on you, and that's something that I've really been trying to do, uh, and maybe it's an only child thing, because like I'm I'm an only child, so it's like I grew up a lot in my life of just sitting in my room thinking to myself, uh, thinking, um, just doing things, little projects. I used to play with Beyblades and play with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and do all that, but a lot of times like I would just uh, I, I don't know, it, it was weird as a kid. I remember a lot of time I'll just spend time alone and think and. You know, um, use my imagination and create scenarios and, um, but, but I think that really I've always had this, I don't give a fuck what people think about me since I was a kid and I've had to have, like, I feel like I had to have it as a kid because if not, I would have been a really shattered adult. If I didn't have that, I don't give a fuck attitude, you know what I mean? I would have been shattered from the from the traumas, because I've been through a lot of shit, like, I'm 25 years old, but I still know, I know people that are in their 50s that haven't gone through as much shit as I've gone through, you know, that haven't, uh, I don't know, there's so much shit I've gone through, I've gone through so many obstacles in life, and every single obstacle is, is my fault, like, I'm someone that genuinely believes, and (laughs) what's funny is, I was, I told my friend this, alright, and we were, um, we were, we were just sitting down smoking and shit. We were, we were both high. But, like, I, I told him this, and, like, he started dying laughing because I don't know if he thought I was joking. For a while, he thought I was joking. And then he realized, you know, after a while that I was serious, and then that made him laugh even more because he was, like, you know, he thought it was just hilarious that I was, that I believe this. But, like, I genuinely believe everything is my fault. Like, uh, um, when Tom Bilyeu, I heard Tom Bilyeu say this whole uh, meteor thing, like, if a meteor crashed and, you know, whatever, and if something like that, then it's his fault, you know, if someone he loves dies or something like that. And, you know, it it sounds wacky and it sounds funny when you first hear it. But, like, what I mean, and I believe that 
to the fullest as well, though. I believe to the fullest that everything that happens in my life is my fault. No excuse. No excuse whatsoever. It doesn't matter. Like, because what that does is it leaves... It leaves any... It doesn't leave any room for you to blame someone else. It completely forces you to look at yourself. Because... You are to blame for everything that happens in your life. And I tell myself this every fucking day. I am to blame for everything that has happened to me in my life. And, but it's like, I also, because of that, you have this, I don't know, there's like this power. It's like you feel, you feel empowered because your life is in your hands. Because once you accept that everything that has happened in your life is your fault, you realize that, well, if the fuck-ups are your fault, then the good things that happen to you as well are your fault. So it's like, you, it, it puts you in this mind state of, of everything, of your life is in your control. Your life is up to you. And, and I don't know, it's just, I don't think about what other people think about me. I don't, care really i mean i i'm grateful for like there's so many people out there like that watch these videos that like that genuinely like show me love and like i fucking love you guys you, you everyone i don't know you guys have no idea you have no idea like how much i really appreciate it how much like just some of the comments that i read it just blows my mind because it it genuinely boosts boosts me up because sometimes you know, when sometimes, like, I, I really want to give up on what I'm trying to do. Like, because I feel like a lot of my goals and my dreams and my hopes and what I'm trying to do seems so impossible. And everyone else looks at it like it's not realistic and it's not whatever. But, like, this is just who I am and this is what I'm trying to do, you know. So, it's like, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't know how to do anything else, like, realistically. The only thing I know how, it's, how else to do, the only thing I know to do is music this philosophy uh i'm writing you know, i'm writing my book uh, uh make beats you know it's music you know but like that's what i'm trying to do so yeah and explore consciousness because and help wake the world up that'd be nice but in order to do things like that right you genuinely have to know who you are and you genuinely have to not care what people think because everyone's going to think you're crazy. Um, I, I mean, it happens to me all the time and I just think it's funny. You know, I just laugh it off, you know, and I just say whatever, you know, I don't mind. You know, I've come to the, I, I've come to be so comfortable in my own skin that it's like, it doesn't matter. Um, I mean, your mom could sit there and talk all this shit about you. Your dad could sit there and talk all this shit about you. Your children could sit there and talk all this shit about you. But you genuinely, if it's not true, like, your children could sit there, like, let's say they're teenagers going through that teenage stage, and they say, oh, you are shitty fucking parents, I fucking hate you, I fucking whatever... If you know genuinely you're not a shitty parent and you know genuinely you've never been a shitty parent and they're just mad going through their stage, like in that in that scenario, that's the same mindset that you would have to have, which is like, it doesn't matter what you say. I know I'm not a shitty parent. So like, it doesn't matter. Like, and that is how we need to be in reality because so many people do that every day and we are we are letting them, we're allowing them to have power over us because we're allowing them to affect us. We're allowing other people's opinions of us to have way too much power. Way too much power. But, yeah. So, I don't allow people's negative opinions to have power. I know who I am. And once you know who you are, that is a very dangerous thing to society. Because it allows you to loosen the grip that society has on you. It allows you to genuinely be free. When you completely let go and completely become who you are and completely realize what you are and who you are, 
nobody's opinion of you affects you and you are just genuinely yourself and you can be and you're free and you do and you create and you think and you live and you love and you have fun.